So our adventure from two days ago ended something like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that thing will kill me. And then yesterday's venture ended something like this. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? Oh, it doesn't even damage him that much. It's meant to damage him so much. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. We're dead. But today's adventure will not be ending like this. Because we are... We're now friends with the neighbor, okay? He's going to live up there. I'm going to live down here. We're going to live in harmony together. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. I haven't really run it by him just yet, but I'm just going to... We're just going to stay out of his way for a little bit. He just wants to be left alone, so I'm going to give him his wish. However, I think we do need some stronger dinosaurs. And we ended last video saying exactly that. Today, we're going to be sacrificing some more of our dinosaurs in hopes that we can summon in another ancient god from the heavens above. Ah, oh, gods, please shine down on me today. We're going to be summoning in another ancient and hopefully one that can kick some serious but maybe even some poison golem butt. The question is, who be going to get sacrificed? As you know, it's got to be some of our prime dinosaurs, our strongest dinosaurs that we have currently tamed up. Yes, it's sad, but whose heads are on the chopping block? Well, I'm glad you asked because I've been a busy little bee. Yes, that's right. I thought I'd go out and get ahead of the curve and tame up a couple little pig bees that we can evolve to then slaughter and it went pretty well aside from the two deaths to a king kong two separate king kongs and they weren't even vanguard protectors they just i think we just happened to have king kongs in the area let's bump that death count up a couple times eh but the results looked a little something like this look at him the sacrificial squad <laughs> we got a few little sacrifices here well soon to be sacrifices at least oh and i nearly forgot have a look at this this little dude, the survivor over here. I have no idea how it happened. So when I went up there to retrieve my stuff from my dead body and my Dodecurus' dead body from yesterday, um, this guy was just chilling there. So I went in and rescued him. So we actually didn't lose two dinosaurs. So we're going to like negative one from our dino team death count too. Anyways, we got the pygmies. I think it's just about time to get sacrificing. And then we can get down to a little bit of war and order. The sponsor of today's video. Have you ever wanted to be a middle-aged lord? Wait, that doesn't quite sound right. Let me try that again. Have you ever wanted to be a lord from the middle ages? You know, your own castle, armies, kingdom, monsters? Look, I never said that this game was historically accurate. War and Order is a real-time strategy, tower defense, and castle building game on both Android and iOS. As a lord of your own middle-aged kingdom, it's up to you to build your castle, expand your territories, gather resources, and of course, fight off hostile monsters and alliances. Along the way, you'll construct and upgrade tons of buildings, netting you new soldiers, units, as well as buffs and resources for your armies. Can we please take a second to check out some of these soldiers? Because like, come on, this guy here be fine. Firing like three arrows out of his bow at once. I'm pretty sure this guy's just God himself. Hey, let's go look at the horses in the cavalry section. Except replace horses with freaking dinosaurs, yo. <laughs> the game calls them dragons, but I know me a triceratops when I see one. Also, how are you going to make this horse stronger than my dinosaurs? As you build your army and expand your territory, you can even overtake other lords' castles. You know what? Let's go and take one on right now. There's my big old panda boy, leader of the Meolingtons. And... And I guess they also have a big old panda boy who is, seems to be stronger than my panda boy because I no longer seem to have a big old panda boy anymore. There's also a bunch of fun mini games to play. What do you say? Do you think you can beat me? If you think you can, just download War and Order using the link I got down below in the description and you'll receive $60 worth of goodies to get you started. Thanks, War and Order, for sponsoring this video. So I guess we better start with getting these guys evolved because, well, yeah, we got to get them evolved before we sacrifice. Some. What's actually cool about uh, the King Kongs that killed us, <laughs> obviously that part isn't fun, but we actually got some pretty sweet loot in the end. Got a prime kill, which is always fun to see, but we also got... Oh, yeah, we got a few pieces of meat. That's going to come in handy today. We got a chainsaw, which is going to be nice for... Um, I guess collecting resources for when we start this base build very soon. But most importantly, I don't know what I'm actually looking for right now. This... These guys right here, we're slowly getting the full set of enhanced right armor. Now, this stuff ain't like the bee's knees. It's not the best um, armor to be getting. In fact, what we do want to be getting is enhanced chitin. Enhanced chitin is 
pretty darn good stuff, uh, especially for your teams. It's all got to do with powering up your dinosaur, basically. So, in fact, I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about right now. The book actually goes through enhanced armors. armors. We haven't spoken about them at all this entire series, but as part of the mods, each set of armor has an enhanced version. For example, cloth. Each piece of the armor gives a certain different statistic, as you can see. And then when you get the entire matching set, it then has an extra buff. For example, the cloth gives uh, you 300% more experience for the dino and the player. And the set bonus is also 25% reduced dino damage taken. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, but then as you work your way down, there's a bunch of different stats. For example, the chitin set has all of this. And as you can see, it affects the teams. Torpor resistance, burn effects, melee, stamina, speed, as you can probably assume, burn effects is a very helpful one against some of the stronger dinosaurs in this mod, especially when you're fighting fire breathers. Then you've got hide, which is actually above chitin for some reason. Um, but this one here is more personal stuff, as you can tell. Then you have the riot set. And the riot set is increased HP, damage reduction, uh, increased melee. I actually don't know if this stuff affects teams or just you, but there's some pretty sweet stuff here. So anyways, the right stuff would be pretty sweet to get. Um, then you got the Mad Core set, which is, I guess, pretty advanced. You get that from Megas, which we're not even dealing with yet. And last but not least, Corrupted Armor, which we are nowhere near. Again, this late game stuff. That's stuff we're nowhere near even needing to talk about. Anyways. For now, we'll just stick to these boots here. But at least what I'm saying is we now have three pieces of the riot gear. We got the gauntlets, we got the leggings, and we will have the boots when we choose to craft them. We just need the chest piece and the helmet. So doing pretty good. Oh, I got a lot of comments, by the way, telling me don't worry about the grinder. Apparently the grinder is pretty peasant tree <laughs> it's not that good compared to this guy here uh the upgrade station is actually synced up with the docks mod they work together in tandem so these are the drops that we should be wanting to get or at least that's how i understood the um the comments that i was reading on last video um i do need to make sure we take the cementing paste out though because i think actually i don't know for certain will it grind up my cementing paste or not because sometimes they do salvage parts no okay we kept it that's good uh but anyways yeah we can just salvage everything in here now probably gonna dump the grinder that was a waste of a craft but what are you gonna do but all in all we're pretty set for metal we're pretty set for a lot of this stuff now which is fantastic because we're gonna be putting it to some pretty solid use soon once we start building whenever that is i don't know when that's gonna be but we should probably get a ring along with that shouldn't we also why is there a raptor down on my beach there's actually been a few of these guys today, and I don't know what their problem is or why they're down here, but now that I've got this awesome tech rifle, um, it's, it, I'm loving just shooting stuff, to be honest. It's really, really handy. Which reminds me of another thing I was notified of in the comments. Apparently, the tech rifle got nerfed recently, or a while ago. Either way, it's between our last playthrough and now, and it now doesn't really affect poison golems anymore. A bit of knowledge that would have been really helpful before I went and tried to use it on a poison golem. Anyways, what are you going to do? What we are going to do, though, is grab all of our meat and all of our treats, and we are going to start feeding it to our friends over here to get them evolved. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, why were we taming these guys? It dawned on me. It's actually probably better to go for these guys because these guys cost 25 meat to evolve to prime form. These guys here, it's a roll of the dice, but you can get away with just giving them them eight so like i think that's a pretty good odd 24 eight if you get this guy in under three attempts which we just got it on the oh no we failed it the green i always the green always throws me off because i feel like we've succeeded but we've actually failed if i can get this guy on three attempts it's actually better than well yeah energy but as you can see by the little purple stuff going on around him we failed twice so we're already off to a terrible start in fact we're probably going to run out of meat in a second aren't we that is not ideal but if you succeed on this one yes okay see we're still one meat up on what we would have got from doing you all in all i think that's a pretty good victory anyways um there we go we have ourselves a pretty nice looking prime tap jarrah just sit still, buddy. And I completely forgot. Uh, sacrifice elixirs. We're going to need some of these, aren't we? And I probably need more water jars. And rare flowers, apparently. That's okay. I know where to get them now, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, I got enough for three. We're good. I'll just quickly fill up my water jars at my dead farm that is currently not fertilized. I really need to pay more attention to this thing. Drop them in here. And now we should have everything it takes to go and sacrifice three of these guys. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, old Tapajara Prime. Unfortunately, you are the first to go, mate. Thank you very much for your heart. Who wants to go next? 
<laughs> I'm looking at these Teratodons, man. Let's see what you can do for me, mate. If you can give this to me on the first shot, I will love you forever. Pretty please. No, he failed. He failed. No. So what does this mean for us? It means I think we need to go find some more meat. Or we just sacrifice some of our other friends. <laughs> oh, is that a good idea, though? I'm honestly eyeing off the old Tapajara Primal Jet up here. Hey, buddy, uh, it's been a fun ride, but it's time to say goodbye. It's for the greater good, I promise you. But goodbye, friend. Also, just because why not? I completely forgot we got this egg yesterday, but we're going to hatch this up. We've got a Prime Dragon Egg ready to go. I'm dumping this. I need to get this guy hatched and grown up as soon as possible. This guy's going to be a game changer changer especially in an instance like right now where i need to go and kill some primes for their meat so you start hatching mate and then you can start growing and then i'll come back and see you soon for now though we're jumping up on smolder i need to go and find some primes and get some meat and hopefully get this guy evolved on the first shot lucky for me i actually saw a prime leech down here somewhere earlier he i'm gonna keep my distance because prime leeches aren't one do you want to be yep okay i was gonna say there it is <laughs> they're very easy to spot because they drop their big old poison bomb and well yeah the rest is history but there he is i can see him or his minions um in fact it's not a poison bomb it's his little minion bomb there he is there's his big old butt 130,000. He doesn't have any crazy healing abilities. He does have crazy stats on him, but we're just going to play the old pepper him with, I don't know, massive. Oh, okay. No, they are poison bombs. Do not get in the way of those there because we nearly just died. Oh my gosh. Lucky for me, I got health potions. So let's get them. Let's, let's, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm using a health potion 100%. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, that's why you don't go close to a leech, okay? I thought I'd demonstrate, but now you understand the threat that these leeches ensue. So don't, don't mess with the leech. Whatever you do is the point I'm getting at. Next up, we're going to go and check out that dire bear from yesterday. The one I failed to kill because he had his crazy healing buff on. I'm hoping he doesn't have the healing buff this time around because sometimes it can come and go. And I'm hoping right now it is gone. Um, but we last saw him over here. There he is. He's still got... Ah, uh, yeah. He's still got that fast HP regen, unfortunately. There it is in action. But... Oh... Until he summons in... Oh, there he is. They always, like, teleport beneath you. Yeah, nah, he's going to be too hard to kill. All right. There goes that idea. Oh, by the way, from the leech, we managed to pull... I think we got what? Well, I don't know. We've got five pieces of meat on us. We've got... We already had that, though. Oh, we got an extra two. So, all in all, we've got four, five, six, seven. I need one more piece of meat. We also got another one of these little guys. So, that's awesome. And I just read the description. Offers the same abilities as the Apex Argent Pygmy. So, it's pretty much a reskinned Argentavis Pygmy. We've obviously got, like, the worst lighting possible for this search as well. But what are you really going to do? Can't really, I don't know, change. I mean, we can wait the weather out, I guess. But I was thinking we head on over to... These terror birds always kind of tease me. They kind of, they look like they could be primes, but they never are. Anyways, we always get primes around here. So let's just check out under the obelisk and just see if there's... I'm pretty sure that's a... I'm pretty sure that's a Totogirus. It is. <laughs> it's extra strong, but that's not a problem because I don't plan on going down there. Uh, we are going to fight him from the sky. Although I might be best off getting one of my other guys. To... Actually, no, that's okay. That's actually really, really good. He's stuck right in front of us. I can just sit still. I've got nothing to worry about. Hopefully, there's no King Kongs in the area or anything like that. And we can just keep on blasting him. And we will soon have, hopefully, the meat that we need for another attempt at this thing. Not gonna lie, I kind of find it ironic that our dude here is trapped by a rock since, you know, his specialty is breaking rocks. The Titan Turkey has arrived? Excuse me? Have I ever seen a Titan Turkey? Because that doesn't really ring a bell, but now I really want to go looking for it. A Titan Turkey? I legit don't think, I, I didn't even know that existed. I had, I had no idea this mod even had a Titan Turkey. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for that because that sounds awesome. Also, unfortunately, I need to go and hop down to grab my guy's loot. What have we got? We, oh, that's... Oh, I've already got the leggings, don't I? It's the chest piece and helmet that we need. But one, two, three, four, five pieces of meat. And, you know, everything else. Uh, well, the Titan Turkey has apparently left the Ark already, unless that's a different Titan Turkey that I didn't know existed. But that's really unfortunate. I was really interested in finding out what that was or what it looked like. Um, hello? How you doing? 
And why did you just randomly hatch in the middle of my base? You were meant to get picked up by this, which is full. Okay, that explains it. Uh, I'm lucky that you didn't die. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well, we've got ourselves an ice dragon now, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, not exactly how I thought it would pan out, but that's fine. He's also how matured? He's juvenile already, which is nice. 13% matured. Lovely. Uh, great. Great. That's fantastic. Now we just need to wait for him to grow up, which I can assist with. Oh, also, I'm going to have to feed you a prime. <gasps> prime do meat. It said prime do meat. Okay. Oh, I don't even know if I've got that because we've just spent all our meat, haven't we? Um, we're also going to need one of these. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh, he wants to go for a walk with us as well. All right. Come for a quick walk. That way we can get you a little bit imprinted. Then I'll hook you up with you do meat. Uh, there. Oh, he's 100% imprinted just like that. All right, mate. I got no idea if I should even waste this on you right now, but here's a do meat. Um... I don't really want to tell you to consume it. I don't even know if I meant to. Maybe I'll just hold on to it for now. I'm a little confused. Either ways, what I am going to do is pick you up in my little soul orb. Unfortunately, that goes and forces you to drop all your meat, but it is what it is. And I'm going to try and get this guy here evolved once more. So four, six, eight. We obviously don't have enough meat for another attempt. So I'm just going to turn around and I'm going to hope that we eventually turn around and see what we want to see. Three, two, one. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he did it. Okay, that is so good. There we go. Another Tapajara. What's the bet we just end up sacrificing all these guys and like getting another Tapajara? Also, why are you up there, dude? Can you like come down, please? I need you down here. Not the dragon. I need you. All right, much better. Well, friends, it's time for the third and final sacrifice of the bunch. Let's do this thing. Give me your heart. Thank you so much. And now it's officially time to get evolving or sacrificed. What are we doing? We're summoning. We're summoning a god. There it is. The weird old flaming skeleton transmutation shrine. Let's do this thing, buddy. Let's do... No, hold on a second. Hold on. I see you. I see you. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Stay out of here, buddy. Otherwise, you might get caught up with the little ancient gods coming in. But what are you doing? All right. Let's do this thing. Last shot. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's actually a pretty, like... That's, that, that's, I don't know if that's exciting or not. But uh, either ways, we now have an ancient King Kong. Yeah, not a regular King Kong Prime. An ancient one. Look, it means he is stronger than a regular one. But at the end of the day, it's, it's still a gorilla. At the, like, it, it's, it, it's still a gorilla. What do you want me to say? Like, it's hard to get excited about this guy when we've had like seven of them already. We've only had like one of them. But still, you know what I mean. We kill these guys on the daily. At least tell me he's like strong. All right, he's got a pretty good hit on him, sure. How about with his poop shot? That's pretty good. And we've still got 151... Okay, all right then, mate. We've still got 151 levels to allocate on him too. Also, what are you doing? Can you not? Can you cut that out? Thank you. Thank you very much. Not to mention, we do have this little dude as well now. So I can pick him up for extra 300% added experience. But uh, overall, yeah, it's it's there's better options. There's certainly, I mean, at least he looks cool. Maybe I should just charge along the beach and punch everything in sight. Get some easy, quick levels into him and see how strong he ends up being. There we go. He's maxed out already. That's ridiculous. All right, let me quickly go and allocate this stuff. Uh, yeah, you're obviously going to give him a ton of health. Hey, maybe the... No, nah, I was going to say maybe this guy is the guy that can take down the poison golem, but I highly doubt that. All uh, right, basically put a chunk of levels into health. Going to put a chunk into melee damage as well. We'll quickly go and see what he can do, and hopefully he doesn't disappoint. Sorry, Moss Chops, you are in the worst place you could possibly be. 6,000, which means I think we're going to get a good 30, 40,000 out of this if I can hit a target, which I am remarkably bad at. 42,000 damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. You know, if we hit... Okay, 22. That's a little bit more boring. But that, that means we can pretty much... If we can throw, like, five poops out and hit... Well, you know, if they can all land on a target before it's too late, we can... Oh, stamina. I just ran out of stamina. That's that's not good. But I guess what I'm saying is if we can hit a target with five poops, like, straight away, some, some of them even three poops, uh, we can pretty much kill anything before it even has a chance to engage us ourselves. So my dude here, he'd be pretty powerful. The question is, though, is he as powerful as my brand new Apex Ice Dragon? Wait, what? Hold on. Are you, wait. Wait. Are you a, 
Are you a prime or are you not a prime? You're a prime, right? Your name says otherwise. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, so I don't need to feed you a prime kibble. That's that's extra good. I think because it's a prime, you don't need to feed them the kibble. Either ways, I'm very happy about that. I just so happen to have something in here for him as well. We got dragon saddles. <gasps> Do I have dragon saddles? I've got this one. Oh, wait a second. I can craft. Oh, I can craft one now. Yes. Also, I just remembered my other dragon has my dragon saddle, obviously. But this one's gonna be stronger. Far stronger. Or strong. Yeah, stronger. Strong is the right word you'd use. 140 armor is a pretty good rating. So let's get that in there. Manticore, mate, just chill out. What are you doing? Where is he? What are you doing? Mate, mate, mate. You're getting jealous or something that we might just be upgrading from you right this second. Just sit tight. Sit tight. Okay, good boy. Let's go and see what our dragon here can do. Oh, he is big. Pteranodons. Terrible, terrible place to be, guys. How about our ice breath? Ooh, not bad at all. We still got a bunch of levels to allocate too, so we'll see what it can... Ooh, that was a different fire breath. That one dealt more damage again, though. And I think that's it. It's just the three attacks. Oh, hello. Why does that look so mean? That do be looking kind of mean, though. That's an Apex Manticore X. That's just an Apex Manticore, dude. Should I kill it? Oh, man. Last time I fought one of these on a dragon, we nearly died. I'm still going to do it because I'm not a very intelligent person. Oh. Yeah. That's what you get. Is this? Oh, he's not even dead yet. Oh, I kind of did my little victory without even being victorious. What am I doing? Oh, now I can't catch him. Oh, that was a mistake. Never mind. He's dead. And we've got all 151 levels. So let's go and spread them out. It's looking like oh, we're not getting a lot of health here, but that's fine. 90,000 is a good start. Movement speed, I think, is going to be super handy. That way, we can actually outrun some of these crazier guys that just do not let us get away. 350%. Look, it's a lot of levels, I know, but at least I should be able to outrun some stuff now. Um, stamina, maybe? A few? As you know, I've got my, my guy on my shoulder, and he helps us out with stamina, so that's actually pretty good. 100,000 health. And then the rest, I think, are all going to go into melee damage. Didn't leave a lot for damage, but I'm hoping it's enough. I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a look at what we can do. That is a Mega Manticore, right? Sure looks like one if I've ever seen one. All right, Quetzal, mate. Terrible place to be, buddy. But let's uh, let's have a look. Two and a half thousand damage from a bite. Not great, but not terrible. I think we definitely got to find a Prime to test this guy out on properly. Fire Breath is looking pretty good, though. A unique Apex Ember Crystal Wyvern. Such a long name. Unfortunately, not a long lifespan because your Something was fighting little poison blobs around the place. Hey, you can't outrun me, mate. Did you see how many levels I just put into speed? Not on my watch, mate. And who down here was firing off little poison blasts? Ah, must have been you, Apex Mianka. Well, get burnt. I should probably be careful because I know that they got some pretty crazy attacks on him. Yep, like that. He just nearly killed me. Okay, not good. Not good at all. As if he just grounded... Oh, wait. No, he didn't nearly kill me. I just haven't healed up yet. Well, I've got a health potion going in now, so that's handy. Um, there we go. Mianka is dead now. And we got a bunch of sweet loot out of it, at least. I think. Yeah, it's pretty average stuff. So where is he? Where is that die bear that I've tried to take down twice now with his crazy special healing abilities? Like, for real. Where, 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 where did he go? <laughs> I can't see him. Ah, he's all the way down here. What are you doing, mate? Let's have a look at what we can do about that extra fast regen with our flame blast. Is that enough? No, I still can't. Oh, man. Okay, I probably should have healed up some more before <laughs> taking a 15,000. Okay, I got to be careful, man. We might get our dragon killed if we're not careful. Um, all in all, though, I don't think we are strong enough yet to even be taking down this little dire bear. What a pile of trash. He just heals way too quick. My ice dragon is a little disappointing. You know what? I, I give up. I give up. This dire bear is a pest, man. I'll go maybe find something else. Or we'll just, you know, accept that this is our dragon. And pff, I don't know. <laughs> what a place to build a little hut, by the way. Right underneath the obelisk. I should be careful. I was going to say, this time Morphodon attacked me earlier while I was teaming up my big mees. Maybe I can... Wait, hold on. What are his stats? Maybe we can try to take him on. Although I am a little bit under strength. But still, extra strong, extra defense, extra... Maybe 
Maybe this is a really silly idea, but I like silly ideas. Also, is that another ice dragon over there? <gasps> Maybe we go ice dragon versus ice dragon. We take down our very first. No, thank you very much, probably. Oh, hey, buddy. Just try to keep your fireballs off of me. Ouch. Okay, yeah, that really hurts. Please don't do that again. That was really not nice. Okay, then we are probably lucky we've got this health potion active right now because that really, really, really hurt. Um, yeah, we should avoid that from happening again. Okay, it happened again. Uh, he's still really down on health, but so am I. And I'm running out of health potions. So, okay, fireballs, dimorphodons. Unfortunately... <laughs> Oh, I've tried it on Pygmy got defeated. But apparently, uh, unfortunately for us, we no longer have our Dimorphodon. All we got is a Bigfoot and this dragon now. So that's a thing. Oh, I can burn him just flying in circles. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Look at that. Oh, okay. This is actually working. We got a Dimorphodon killer on our hands. Like with, with ease too. I should be able to get these. Oh, I'm a little bit too fast for him. Right, as long as I dodge the fireballs though. And we just keep spinning in circles and don't get too dizzy and lose our bearings. I'm pretty sure I've got an easy... Oh, can I... Oh, he's extra fast, isn't he? Oh, I forgot. I didn't even know where he went. Oh, he flew down into the bushes. How did he know that that's my weakness? Oh, there he is. There he is. I see you. Oh, just like that, baby. Prime Dimorphodon head. A bunch of other stuff. Yeah, most of it's pretty average, bro. We got the Prime Kibble. That's all that matters. Hey, Dragon here. He ain't, uh, <laughs> he ain't a pushover. What can I say? Question is, who is the stronger Apex Ice Dragon? This one here is going to be a mistake if I engage in this. So I'm not going to do that. However, if I were to hit him with four giant pieces of poop, then we'll have something to talk about. However, we are back home. What a day it was. Unfortunately, didn't get what we we're looking for out of the ancient summon, but still, my dude be dealing 40,000 damage. So with the right pygmy and the right buffs, I think... My dude here, he could be a force to reckon with. And that's what I need. More of that.